Hi everyone. In an earlier video, I discussed the risk factors for diabetes. Who's at risk of getting the disease? And I mentioned a test called hemoglobin A1C. That's capital A, the number one, and the letter C. And I wanted to talk more about that in this video. Now we think of hemoglobin as that molecule in our blood that carries oxygen to all of our cells. You may have gotten a blood test for hemoglobin. But when blood sugars start to rise, a percentage of the hemoglobin starts to get the glucose or the blood sugar molecules attached to it. Now people who don't have diabetes have approximately 5% of their blood in general, but they call glycated or having glucose attached. But the higher a person's blood level over the last three months or so, the higher the hemoglobin A1C. And so it's been a profoundly important test because by doing a blood test for hemoglobin A1C, you can find out if your blood sugar has been elevated over the last three months and whether or not you're at risk for developing diabetes. Now it turns out that while the numbers vary and some opinions vary on what the exact number is, approximately the values of 5.7 to 6.4 are used to determine people at risk for developing diabetes. That's called pre-diabetes. The thing that's nice about this particular test is that to get a blood, a blood sugar drawn, you usually have to go in the morning, not eat, and then have that blood sugar done. That's called a fasting blood sugar. But the hemoglobin A1C does not require fasting. It can be done at any time of the day, and it can be done whether you've eaten or not. People who have a hemoglobin A1C over 6.5 have diabetes. Now, when people do have diabetes, sometimes the hemoglobin A1C test is still measured because here's why that's important. For every 1%, your hemoglobin level, hemoglobin A1C level comes down, you lower the risk of eye disease by about 40%. That is immense because one of the most significant and serious complications of diabetes is problems in the retina in the back of the eye that can lead to loss of vision. And also other conditions such as kidney disease or nerve damage that can occur with diabetes also come down as hemoglobin A1C levels are lowered. It's a very important test. It can be done either as a finger stick or as a blood test you draw out of a vein. In either way, find out your hemoglobin A1C value and see if you are at risk for developing diabetes.